The Space Gamer was a magazine dedicated to the subject of science fiction and fantasy board games and role-playing games. It quickly grew in importance and was an important and influential magazine in its subject matter from the late 1970s through the mid-1980s. The magazine is no longer published, but the rights holders maintain a web presence using its final title Space Gamer, Fantasy Gamer. Topic history The Space Gamer TSG started out as a digest quarterly publication of the brand new Metagaming Concepts Company in March 1975. Howard M. Thompson, the owner of Metagaming, and the first editor of the magazine, stated the magazine had been planned for after our third or fourth game but circumstances demand we do it now after their first game, Stellar Conquest. Initial issues were in a plain paper digest format. By issue 17, it had grown to a full-size bi-monthly magazine, printed on slick paper. When Steve Jackson departed Metagaming to found his own company, he also secured the right to publish The Space Gamer from number 27 on. In the first Steve Jackson Games SJG issue Howard Thompson wrote a report on Metagaming and stated, Metagaming's staff won't miss the effort. After the change in ownership, Metagaming feels comfortable with the decision, it was the right thing to do. In the same issue, Steve Jackson announced, TSG is going monthly, from number 28 May 1980 on, it'll be a monthly magazine. The magazine stayed with SJG for the next five years, during which it was at its most popular and influential. In 1983, the magazine was split into two separate bi-monthly magazines published in alternating months, Space Gamer losing the definite article with the split in number 64, and Fantasy Gamer, the former concentrating entirely on science fiction, and the latter on fantasy. This arrangement lasted about a year. Fantasy Gamer ran six issues before being folded back into Space Gamer. You see, we were churning out magazines, Space Gamer, Fantasy Gamer, Fire and Movement, and Autoduel quarterly, at the rate of two a month. We had to find some way to preserve what little sanity we had left. The best way to do this was to merge Space Gamer and Fantasy Gamer. As it has for the past year, Space Gamer will appear bi-monthly, giving us the time to get some games done, as well. Like metagaming before it, the effort of producing a magazine became greater than its publisher was willing to bear. The change to bi-monthly publication was not enough to allow SJG to focus on new games as they wished, and in 1985, it was announced, we've sold Space Gamer. We'll still be heavily involved, but SJ Games won't be the publisher any longer. Giving up SG is definitely traumatic, but it gives us the time to do other things, especially GURPS. The magazine had been sold to Diverse Talents, Inc. They initially had it as a section in their own magazine The VIP of Gaming, but it soon became a separate publication again with the previous numbering and format, but with the name Space Gamer – Fantasy Gamer. Space Gamer ceased publication in September 1985, since that time, it has gone through a number of owners, all keeping the final name, but occasionally restarting the numbering. Eventually, Better Games, now renamed Space Gamer, bought the magazine, and has kept the title alive by reinventing it through the net. In 2010 Steve Jackson Games started republishing back issues in PDF format. Topic editors Metagaming Howard Thompson, No. 1 copyright 1975, No. 5 Mar, May 1976 see Ben Ostrander, No. 9 Deck, January 1976 No. 26 Jan, February 1980 Steve Jackson Games Steve Jackson, No. 27 Mar, April 1980 Forrest Johnson, No. 28 May, June 1980 No. 51 May 1982 Aaron Alston, number 52, June 1982, number 65, Sept October 1983. Also Fantasy Gamer, number 1, August September 1983, and co-edited number number 2, Deck January 1984, Christopher Frink, number 66, November December 1983, number 69, May June 1984. Also Fantasy Gamer, co-edited number 2, Deck, January 1984, and edited number 3, Feb, March 1984, number 6, June, July 1984, Warren Spector, number 70, July, August 1984, number 76, Sept, October 1985, Diverse Talents Incorporated and Jaffe, number 77, Jan, February 1987, number 82, July, August 1988, 3W Inc. 
Jeff Albanese and Perrin D. Tong, number 83, October, November 1988, number 85, Jan, February 1989, Barry Osser and J. Adon, Volume 2, number 1, number 86, July, August 1989, Volume 2, number 2, number 87, October, November 1989, Future Combat Simulations, Jeff Albanese and Perrin D. Tong, number 88, Mar, April 1990. The majority of the articles printed in issue number 88 were from works originally edited by Barry Osser prior to the demise of 3W Inc. and were not credited to him. Better Games Pat Mannion, No. 1 Sep, October 1992 No. 3 Jan, February 1993 Red Dog, No. 4 Mar, April. 1993 No. 8 Copyright 1994, states, "...93rd issue of publication", but was actually the 96th overall. Awards The Space Gamer won the 1977 Charles S. Roberts Award for Best Semi-Professional Magazine. The Space Gamer was awarded the Origins Award for Best Professional Role-Playing Magazine of 1982.